Hello again and thank you for joining Jeff and Jenny's Classic Restorations. Today we'll be doing part number three of the restoration of the Direct Bikes Sport 50cc model. Well, this last week Jenny and I have been suffering. We're not exactly uh, hot weather people and uh, she's been suffering. We've been putting cold towels on her even though she's throwing that off now. So she's had her walk very early this morning and now tired. I do suffer from the heat as well, get very drained. So I've been doing a little bit of things in the morning, but the afternoon had to give up. Uh, mind says yes, body says no. Uh, I was gonna wear a pair of shorts today, but that wouldn't be too fair on my subscribers um, and viewers. Uh, you don't wanna see my pale skinny legs. So we decided to opt for jeans still. And uh, before we start, I just wanted to say what's happening. Um, I've got to write this down because my memory is like a sieve. Um, I'll be doing these videos in future in association with Vintage Moped World. It's a new startup on Facebook and uh, it's starting to get new members from all over the world. And it, the purpose is, is to bring people all sorts of mopeds, not just vintage ones, but it's to bring uh, a whole community together and try and get parts in other countries cheaper than what it would do normally. Um, they're also going to try and get little concessions. Uh, the first concession we have, if you're interested, if you live in Derbyshire, in Stony Middleton, uh, if you go to the Toll Bar Fish and Chips restaurant, they've been there since 1927, uh, very good fish and chips. And if you go in and you buy fish and chips, you'll get the chips for free. So it's just a little uh, community thing and hopefully it will expand. So I'll be putting the link for the fish and chip shop and also for Vintage Moped World in the description uh, at, uh, underneath. So before it gets too hot, let's make a start and I'll show you what I've been up to. Well, there we go this is what we're up to the moped is now finished thank you very much for watching the series and uh, please join us in the next one i wish now i've managed to get the front done now uh, i had everything back on i had trouble with the electrics all week i've been trying to sort out the indicators were flashing opposite sides that's all done the headlight didn't work well it was before but that was i found later on due to a bulb and the horn didn't work and also we had the brake lights stuck on well the reason for the brake lights was this handle, I put a new one on there if you remember, um, but the 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 uh, handle or lever didn't actually push in the um, keep the stop light switch pushed in. So of course that didn't quite meet it. So the brake lights were on all the time. I've had to go back now to the original, which I've actually uh, powder coated, and it's actually come out not very nice at all. But I will probably revisit that one. But it does run now nicely, um, and. It looks right on the front, but of course, if we move around here, this is where we've got all the work to carry on with. Um, also, this uh, this hose was broken originally. I managed to get one in Halfords replacement, not for this model, but it works and that actually helps it run a lot better now. This vacuum hose to the airbox. So uh, this is what we're up to now. Uh, as you know, I've uh, hammerited half of the frame. So I'm going to start taking a few bits and pieces off. I will leave the petrol tank on, um, probably hammer right that, clean it and hammer right it. Um, as long as I can get to this frame and these brackets and things can come off and we'll probably be able to powder coat those. So we'll make a move on the, uh, on the rear now and then hopefully we can start to get the back eventually looking similar to the front. I'm quite happy with it, the paint's coming up nice. Um, I've got a few little decals to go on the side as well, but uh, let's make a start and uh, start stripping down. Okay, so I've now moved it into the shade so I don't get too much sun. So I'll take off this pipe, which I had to the other day to get this um, the hose on, uh, which had uh, broken, but that, that will come off easy enough on there, hopefully. Well, it did do. There we go, that's it. So uh, we'll get that one out of the way for now. And then we'll try and take some of this uh, air box off to see, uh, see what the filter's like, if we need to get one of those or not. It's just not a few screws around here. 
I wanted to get the front done just so I didn't have to have too many bits and pieces around um, whilst I'm working because I tend to lose everything. Okay, let me just go around and get the rest of these out and uh, I'll come back to you. Oh, there we go, there's the, uh, the filter. I expected to get a new one, but um, not too bad. I might, uh, I might be able to clean that one. It's certainly going to dry in the sun quite well. So we'll leave that there for now. And we'll try and, I've undone the uh, inlet pipe um, clip up here. So hopefully we can get this off, whether these uh, bolts come out freely. Well, I don't know, let's see. Oh, not too bad. No one here. closer to be able to clean this engine up a bit and get to the uh, the frame uh, let me see I'll be back to you shortly and uh, maybe we'll take this off the belt got the belt cover so um, I'll be back in a minute okay so we'll take this cover off have to just loosen the uh, this kickstart lever off Just take the whole thing out here, I think. Okay, bear with me again. It's always something, isn't there? Okay, well that's finally off, so let's carry on and see if, if there's any problems getting this one off. Oh, I know it's the originals. Uh, but anyway, there we go. Oh, that's loose already. That's easy, isn't it? going to go around now and uh, release all these and then hopefully that should come off hopefully all right that's all the uh, the bolts now out so hopefully this will just come off it's always going to get stuck somewhere isn't it let's have a look oh, I think that's everything out Okay, um, I just have to gently prise that. Bear with me a minute. The back's off, but uh, it's just down here. stuck on dowels that was the problem right okay try not lose own bolts there 
Yeah. Belt. Yeah, not bad condition. It seems to be all right. Very cheap anyway, if I wanted to change it. We'll have a look at this um, variator a little bit later on before we put it all back. Okay, and uh, as for this case, we'll probably sand that back and powder coat that one. I think we'll uh, try and get this bracket off. It probably does hold the tank in as well. Um, so I'm not too sure. I probably will hammer right the uh, the tank. But uh, we'll see see how we go by getting this off. This will let this itself be powder coated and sanded down. Okay, I'll, um, I'll go through and get these out and then we'll come back to you. Okay, so they're all out now. Uh, so that will come off separately. Take this out for a minute. And that one should also come off. There we go. So there we go. Um, what are we to do? It's got petrol in it. Uh, might have to drain that. Uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll powder coat it. We'll see. Uh, okay, I'll leave that for now. Okay, so I've now got the tank off. Um, as I say, I may possibly uh, hammer right that one. It's a smooth paint. So I think what I'm going to do, we're going to concentrate on this side. First, I'll probably take the exhaust pipe off. Well, I have to take the exhaust pipe off, but I'll be taking the wheel off. So, um, I'm going to concentrate on this side first, and I think before we get cleaning on everything, um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to change the gearbox all before I forget, and also we we'll do an oil change as well, uh, so we know that's all done when everything's go back together. So, uh, I believe this is the the oil drain. So, um, this is a 10 mil socket. So, of course, here we go. Come out as it. No, wrong way. That doesn't help, does it? There we go. Right, let's see what condition this is. If any. Oh, I see. Very good, actually. It has been done. Okay, so we'll let that drain for a bit. Right, uh, now that's back in now, the plug. Uh, it's the top one of the two, I believe. So I like to use a syringe, so we'll see if that works all right. It seems to, yeah. I'm just pumping that in until it leaks out. Okay, need a bit more. leaking out now. Okay. So at least we now know that the that's the gearbox all done. Okay. Okay, so uh last thing I'm gonna try is getting too hot now so you'll have to bear with me. Uh, I'll call it a day after this one at least we know all this is done. I'm just taking out the sump plug now, um, 17 mil socket, and it should have a strainer in it. Should we give a good clean in a minute? Oh God, there we go. Look at that lovely looking oil. God knows when that was last done. Okay, let's get this one to drain and uh, I'll come back to you. 
Okay, so that plugs back in now, clean the filter and everything. It was a lot harder than I expected. I could not get it back in with the, the, uh, the spring in there, but we got there. So I've, it's probably about 750 milliliters of oil. So I'm just going to put, say, 700 in now. We'll just give it a check afterwards and see how we get on with this. Okay, I'll put the rest of that in there, clean it up, and uh, that should be done. Well, it's getting too hot now, and we'll leave it at that. Jenny and I are getting ill now, aren't we? We are. It's getting too hot. So, um, what I'll do, uh, at least we know the oil change is done and the gearbox oil, um, I'll start sanding down the frame and getting that hammer uh whenever I can in the mornings if it's not too hot. And uh, next episode we'll come back and we'll try and get some of the powder coating done on those brackets and, uh, and things. And then eventually we can move over to the other side. So, uh, thank you to all my subscribers. Please check out the uh, Facebook group underneath as well. And uh, thank you for watching and stay cool out there and we'll see you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.